I'm slowly closing all the gaps here in the second floor. I think uh, before the winter I will have uh, everything closed and that for me is uh, the most important thing before the snow and the wind comes and it blows everything in. At the moment when uh, the rain is falling, even if it's uh, with a bit of wind, it can't uh, enter anymore into the log house and all the logs and everything in here it's uh, really dry and yeah getting it uh, completely closed before the winter it's what I'm hoping for pretty much that side uh, on the outer side of the wall I have almost uh, done it now I have to find someone that will uh, make uh, all those uh, windows and because of the measures that are really random I think it will take some time to make all uh, those little windows I didn't decide to cover too big of a space on the northern side uh, with, the, with the glass especially because in the winter when the wind is blowing uh, really strongly it's uh, pretty much always coming from that direction and I think it's better not having too big of a windows uh, firstly because uh, with a window it's uh, harder to maintain the heat on the inside of the house plus uh, if the wind is really strong uh, I would not uh, want to risk that uh, it blows out uh, the window or something like that but I, think, but I still think it's pretty nice the way it is at the moment but on this side, also where I have the best view, I will cover pretty much everything uh, with the glass and I think it will be amazing. It's uh, just like uh, I imagined it uh, before I started. The work I'm doing at the moment to close all these gaps, it's, uh, it's really slow. I'm here for uh, weeks and it seems I haven't done much because there's a lot of cutting around the logs and then I have to retry many times just to get the right one board 
but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy that I, I mean, I closed only the outer side of the wall, then I have to close everything from the inside with the isolation and uh, then on top of that the final uh, boards from the inside also those boards will be different from these boards will be looking nicer and uh, then also on the outside I'm thinking to cover everything uh, with the shingles the parts that uh, are not covered with the with the glass as I think I've said uh, in the previous video I took it uh, a bit easier in the last uh, two three months I haven't been working as much uh, as I've been uh, during the winter and in the spring but uh, I mean I've been working uh, some other things I still uh, have done a lot of other stuff it's not that uh, I was just uh, sitting around for three months doing nothing for me it's really hard to do nothing for <laughs> a week a day just sit around and do nothing but yeah I focused on uh, some other things the trail that I have and family and a lot of things going on uh, beyond what I'm just filming on the camera I also focused uh, on uh, myself and uh, what I really want to do with this log house that I don't just uh, rush to get the things done as fast as possible but I want to remain in that creative state of mind not just trying to go to the finish line if it takes uh, a year or a year longer than uh, what I planned that's okay as long as uh, as long as I'm doing it as I imagined from the beginning as I know that it's uh, the right way something that happened uh, in the previous months especially with all the the things going around the world uh, everyone started living more uh, not knowing uh, and with uncertainty about the future and all of that uh, almost uh, made me work uh, as fast as possible to finish the house as fast as I can so we can move in and uh, that uh, made me compromise uh, my creativity or how I really want the house to be it didn't take much for me to to realize that and to slow down again and do the things uh, as I know that are right and anyway as I always believed uh, the things will go just as they need to. If I force something, uh, it uh, it never uh, ends good, or with an injury, or something uh, doesn't go right. And I will keep uh, following my my heart, my instinct, and I'm pretty sure that uh, everything will fall in place just as it needs to and at the right time.
In the last weeks, I started waking up uh, earlier. I'm trying to be up before the sun. And even if I take two, sometimes even three hours to not really do anything, but uh, to just meditate, uh, do yoga and focus so that my mind uh, is not all over the place. Uh, during the rest of the day. I still feel I have uh, so much time to do other things uh, than uh, later in the day. And I realize more and more and over and over how important it is to slow down and to not really worry about uh, when I will get uh, something done, uh, but uh, to be present and uh, to just uh, know that uh, everything will unfold as uh, I envision it and that's uh, basically what I'm trying to do every morning is to be present but uh, at the same time create uh, the future that uh, I want to live. I envision that uh, very strongly 
always uh, when I'm really present and I not I don't I don't think about the future and I don't worry about the past or I don't live in uh, the fear or anxiousness in when I will get uh, something done when I will build a log house and when this when that uh, things just uh, start uh, happening uh, in ways I would never even imagine and it always feels uh, like uh, so many miracles happen around me in the nature in uh, what I see and where I can be the people that I meet what the relationship gives me and what I can give uh, to others which is the most important thing in my everyday life in <laughs> through these videos uh, for me it's the most important thing that uh, I can create uh, that I can give through the videos and and not just uh, take which I really don't like I don't like uh, doing what I do to then uh, take and uh, grab more and more and uh, and start living in this uh, materialistic uh, world which uh, most of the people uh, nowadays uh, really gravitate towards but uh, I try to remind myself that uh, the greatest uh, satisfaction and the greatest uh, accomplishment that uh, I can get is uh, from uh, giving, from feeling grateful and from uh, feeling uh, really true love, not just the love between uh, two people but uh, really the love uh, for life. Every morning when I wake up early I feel uh, such a immense and uh, indescribable uh, love from uh, from this that uh, you see around me and yeah, everything that I see around me. It's really something I cannot uh, put uh, into words. And being in a place uh, that I am at the moment where so many people know me for uh, what I do, at times, uh, maybe for, uh, for most of the people that would be amazing to receive so much praise for uh, what they do because uh, for ego that is really it's uh, the best it uh, it makes your ego grow uh, exponentially and uh, I mean I'm really grateful and thankful uh, that I can reach so many lives so many people uh, through what I do and for me the greatest thing is to get someone inspired and to make them believe that uh, they can do much more than what uh, they might think or what uh, or what they've been uh, made uh, to believe from uh, other people around them that's exactly what I'm trying to do is to go beyond uh, those beliefs beyond uh, my beliefs and when uh, when you can do that uh, when you can detach from all of that uh, you re you realize how powerful uh, you really are and how much uh, you can create uh, and everything uh, seems uh, it is uh, so easy it uh, might sound uh, crazy when i say that uh, if i look back and i think uh, about uh, what i've built uh, at the log house and so many other things that uh, I've built. Uh, it never seemed to me that uh, it was impossible or there was uh, there weren't many moments that I thought uh, now I cannot uh, go on or how I will do something. Uh, I mean, when I stopped it was because uh, I was not uh, mentally in the right place. Always when I'm uh, being present, everything uh, seems like it's uh, going uh, so easily everything seems like it's uh, going uh, just uh, like a puzzle and and yeah of course I have to put uh, a lot and really a lot of energy and that energy goes uh, also way beyond uh, 
the physical body because I, if I would be doing everything uh, from the physical body then yeah what I'm doing would be so hard and impossible and like many people say I would already broken my back and uh, my body would be destroyed until I really know and believe that I will be just fine I can get there without uh, any problems and just being stronger and more uh, conscious of uh, what I'm doing. I have the last uh, few boards to fit in around those uh, triangle windows and then I'm also done with closing the outer side of uh, the, the outer side of boards on uh, this side of the wall I've already done the other one so all the openings will be filled with, uh, with glass and these two bigger openings will be the, the doors to go on the balcony and I want to do all of this in glass so that I have as much light as possible coming in into the log house and also to have this uh, view which I think is uh, really amazing when you wake up and to have a view like this uh, I was only dreaming of something uh, like this log house and really step by step piece by piece, board by board, it's coming uh, together. I finished with the boards on the outer side of triangles before I can uh, start putting in the isolation and uh, closing from the inside I first need to put in all the windows and the doors so if the rain comes it doesn't go in and uh, it uh, makes the isolation wet because 
then I think uh, by not having the sun inside the log cabin and also now the days are getting shorter and uh, colder I don't know if it would uh, dry up really quickly and I don't want to have problems with that I think uh, by the time that uh, I'm waiting to get the windows which uh, might take around uh, two months I will start uh, closing the first floor from under so when I have the windows in I'll be able to put the isolation pretty much uh, everywhere that I need to put it and then uh, close from the inside and at that point I will be almost ready to start building the furniture and the things on the inside of the log cabin.